I've got the template for making this card here. Now what I've done, I've chosen the card that I want it to go on. I've got a nice thick uh, 300 gram card here. And all I've done is just printed it off and just used a couple of pieces of masking tape here to keep it in position. Now before you cut it out, or you've only got two cuts to do, is go over all of the dotted lines and just make an indentation into the card because that's going to make it easier to fold later on and then do that on all of the dotted lines and then all you've got to do then is do two cuts down the straight lines here straight down here using a scalpel and cut them down on both sides now when you've cut it out and creased it you will end up with a template like this that is how it is now that's all folded now you just open the card where the crease there you fold them use a boning tool if you want that will fold over so you can use your boning tool to get those creases nice and strong so there's a few ways you can use this you can either use it like that or you can turn it around and decorate the inside and use it that way or lots of different ways to use it this is the way i'm going to do it now i've taken that template again see all these templates keep it the right way around and i mark them and i've got this one here that's the right hand side and that's the top there and i've got the left hand side there and i've used these little templates here keep it to one side you can use them all again but then you can use them to cut out the different coloured background papers to the right shape of the card like so I've got those basic ones there and that's just a question then of sticking those all together And now I've got some toppers here which I'm just going to decorate it with and I've got a nice one here with the same matching Narcissus there just mounted onto some green paper and some silver card that's going to go in the middle there I've got one here which matches the background here and I think I'm just going to put this at the top so it slightly overlaps stick that down there I've got double sided tape and then on the bottom here, I'm just going to turn it round so I can see what looks best for me. So I think I'll put it here, just underneath. A nice happy birthday. And then you've got a nice card then that opens, it comes flat. And then you can open it up and it gives it a nice kind of 3D look to it. 